If you've been following my channel, I've been doing a lot of work out back. Uh, I built a dry rock wall, and because I built that, I had to tear out another wall. And when I did that, it changed the pavers, so all the pavers that were on the ground. Plus, the patio itself had some troubles, some issues that I needed to work out. I've relayed most of the pavers, uh, but now I'm to the point where I need to cut the edge pieces. I borrowed this from a friend. It's a tile cutter. Put water in the bottom has a pump in the back, and it makes a nice wet cut by injecting it on the shroud. And it'll cut a piece of tile. And it will be... Trouble is, I'm going to be cutting a paver. It's about 40 millimeter thick. The clearance here is only about 35 millimeters. And it gets jammed up. So what I'm going to do take these three screws out here, the ones on the back, I'll make a plate that just raises it up about a little more than 10 millimeter, three-eighths of an inch. And that should be enough to clear. It probably still won't cut all the way through this paver, but that's okay. The paver will just break. It's good enough. So let's get started. I need to find some pieces of metal here some flat bits of metal. Well I dug around I found a, a license plate and it's not very thick metal but it doesn't need to be very thick it's just going to support it up here a little bit so I'm not too worried about strength. I think I'll just put it up on the... take these screws out I will scratch these holes in the back and then I'll do it on two pieces maybe on the edge I don't know doesn't matter, I can cut this with the tin snips pretty easy. Just re-drill the holes and uh, that should be it. This is kind of awkward to work with. I think I'll take it to the uh, table saw and just cut pieces out of it.
well it's not perfect but that'll break right off of the snap so 